Christian Edition has been spreading God's love through music for nearly 40 years. Welcome to All God's People. I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey. I had the privilege of attending a Christian Edition concert on January 19 and was blessed to hear their stirring music and testimonies once again. Led by director Calvin Nipchild, the men of Christian Edition come from many professions and backgrounds, united by their desire to sing of their Redeemer. Formed originally as a male chorus at their home church in Eagle Rock, California, their prayer has always been that God lead them only to places where people are ready to commit or recommit their lives to God. God has honored that prayer by sending them to the White House, Caesar's Palace, the New Orleans Superdome, and to thousands of churches, nursing homes, and camp meetings in between. Thank you for the beautiful music and inspiring witness, gentlemen. In 1918, Ruth Janetta Temple became the first African-American woman to graduate from the College of Medical Evangelists, now known as Loma Linda University. She applied for an internship in the maternity service for the City of Los Angeles Health Department, but was told she did not qualify. She persevered, knowing that God would help her. When the city finally accepted her, she became the first African-American woman physician in Los Angeles. She was invited to join the teaching staff at White Memorial Hospital and became the only African-American physician in America at that time to teach medicine to white student physicians. When asked the source of her novel ideas, she was known to say, I learned them in the book Ministry of Healing by Mrs. Ellen G. White. 20 years after starting her career, Dr. Temple completed a public health master's program at Yale University and became nationally known for her vision and leadership. During a long career for both the City of Los Angeles and the Southern California Conference, Dr. Temple worked tirelessly to promote and establish community health programs. In 1983, the East Los Angeles Health Center was renamed the Dr. Ruth Temple Center in her honor. She passed away in 1984 at age 91. We had the opportunity to sit down with Sharice Gardner, associate pastor at Eagle Rock Church, and ask her about Dr. Temple's legacy. I think Dr. Temple's story is really inspirational because she epitomizes what it means to be a trailblazer at a time when women were not being promoted into any serious position and she had to overcome a lot of opposition. It really is a testimony to the determination of her calling and her faith in God in leading her forward in spite of everyone maybe naysaying her at that time. I think that it's a beautiful for many women because there are a lot of times we have a calling from God, we have a vision for her, our future, and the path isn't always a clear path, and yet the calling is a true one. If the calling is true one, we have to follow it, and so I really am, I'm inspired by her. I appreciate what she's done because I think many women will take courage from her testimony and the testimony of, of what she was able to accomplish. Thank you so much, Sharice. Very well said. We enjoyed Pastor Gardner's interview so much that we will continue it next week when she shares her passion for ministry. As I think about Dr. Ruth Temple's experience, I am reminded of James 1.12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. That's God's promise for all God's people. And we are inspired by the witness of Dr. Temple and so many others. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you here next week.